Right, so today I've come to Sigsbury, which is just up the hill from the village of Letcombe in uh, Oxfordshire. It's occasionally known as um, Letcombe Castle, or Sigsbury Ring, or Sigsbury Camp, or Sigsbury Castle, uh, uh, or Lambourne, Lambourne Castle, Lambourne Camp, Lambourne Ring. Um, we're just off the ridgeway here, it's quite windy, uh, and we're just going to have a quick look around this Iron Age camp. So sheep farming is still very important to this area, as it probably has been for thousands of years. Uh, and at the top of this camp castle, you can get a really wide view of the surrounding area. We're not far from the ridgeway here, less than a mile. The ridgeway was an ancient road that ran across uh, the south of England, uh, all along the Chalk Hills, down to Dorset, uh, and all the way up to Cambridge, uh, well, nearabouts. Um, very important Stone Age, Bronze Age, and even Iron Age road. Uh, and this Iron Age hill fort would have defended the people that lived in this area. It wouldn't have been lived in all the time, it would have been a retreat to hide away from invaders inside. And that's the village of Letcombe down there, which uh, is uh, a much more fertile area down the valley, much more sheltered. It's really quite windy up here today. Access to this site is given by the farm's owners, as it is private land, uh, and they allow people to use the rights of way across it, which include the paths around the top of the ring. Uh, most of the time it's used for grazing sheep. They're not up here now. Uh, and that's allowed all these wildflowers to come out. The entire field is covered in cowslips and dandelions and is just a beautiful little area. And you're going to see if I can get a little bit closer to a cowslip so you can see what they look like. There they are, quite dear little things. And uh, the entire field is just full of them. As an Iron Age hill fort, it would have had four gates. We're approaching one now. This is a gate here where a tree has been planted. These ditches don't look like much when you're walking along them, but they can be quite formidable when you're down in the gullies. If I head down into one, you'll see exactly what I mean. This is the gully between two sets of walls, and uh, you can imagine this filled with water and effluence and all the rubbish of the camp to trip people up and hurt people. And at the top of that huge bank would have been uh, a defensive wooden wall, possibly staked. Um, meaning that attacking this fort with Iron Age equipment would have been extremely difficult. There were no siege weapons in those days, at least not here in Britain, uh, and so it would have been a, uh, a climb up through this horrible environment and then scaling the wooden walls and defeating the invaders, not for the faint-hearted, and uh, would have made the people who lived here feel very secure. These rings fell out of use in the Roman period. Uh, the largest hill fort that I know of is Maiden Castle down uh, in Dorset. And supposedly during the Roman invasions, all the uh, tribesmen gathered together in Maiden Castle, which they viewed as impregnable. And the Romans just built a tower and put a ballista on top of the tower and rained death down into the hill fort, killing numerous people and convincing the Britons uh, to give in and surrender. They were quite formidable fortifications, but they just weren't able to sustain the siege weaponry of a antiquity empire. There's some of the sheep. We're just coming to the end of lambing season at the moment. Uh, I don't know whether these sheep will have lambed or not, but uh, if they haven't, it's going to be imminent. We've got about a month of lambing left. Uh, I'm surprised they're not on this field, but uh, I guess it's easier in an area of flat ground. And I have become incredibly lucky with the weather today. It's a clear blue sky, beautiful country. The colours in the landscape today are just fantastic. Blues, greens, the oilseed raper, brilliant yellow. Uh, it's, uh, it's a real feeling of spring out here at the moment. Uh, not long at the time of recording until the Maybank holiday. And uh, I very much doubt the weather will be that good. It's an ongoing joke that the weather during the bank holidays 
is always rubbish and then the moment you get back to work the sun comes out and it's glorious. I am really staggered by the number of cowslips up here. I've probably never seen so many quite in one place. It's uh, not quite carpeted with them but very close to. That is beautiful. And here we get a good sense of how steep this gully would have been when it was in the best condition. This is still very very steep. Uh, even to going down it I'm a little bit wary lest I uh, slip. Quite glad that it's a dry day. Uh, it's, yeah, hmm. And then back up. Over the stile. And drop your possessions. That's an important thing to do when you're going over the stile. Make sure that you drop everything in your pockets. <coughs> Just to show you how close we are to the ridgeway, this is that ancient road. And you can see its brilliant chalk surface. Uh, during the winter it gets horrendously slimily muddy because chalk dust forms some of the slipperiest mud I've ever known. But uh, it uh, is quite wonderful to walk through during a dry summer. And we are so close to the ridgeway I can probably bring you there in real time back to the Segsbury Ring. Uh, and up on the ridgeway at the moment there is a real countryside smell. Lots of uh, fertiliser going out on the fields, the natural kind. Um, which is quite pungent but at the same time very homely. Uh, it really makes you feel like you are in the countryside, as I am. Um, and the road that I'm now walking up would have been one of the other gates into the uh, Salisbury Castle uh, and it runs right through this road, through the two gates. Uh, you, nobody is entirely sure what the purpose of Salisbury Ring is, whether it was solely for defence. I like to imagine that it provided an element of tax control levied on the people passing over the ridgeway, but there's no proof of that. And here we are back at uh, Segsby Ring, less than a minute from the ridgeway. I'm just looking at the other side of the ring. There's the ring going across and good grief, that's a lot of cowslips. That's a real, that's a real carpet of them. I have never seen so many in one place. Um, that's, it, it's a beautiful sight. I'm not sure how well it's coming across on camera, but... Uh, that's something I was not expecting to see today, and I'm really happy to have seen it. Especially with the great weather. <laughs> yeah, Marvellous.